Good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer on Friday, the 7th of January. This is the first one that I've recorded for this new year. So I wish you all a very happy and a healthy new year. I'll be using the words from the Book of Common Prayer today. O oh Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the psalms that is set for this morning is Psalm 35. Plead thou my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, and fight thou against them that fight against me. Lay hand upon the shield and buckler, and stand up to help me. Bring forth the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that imagine mischief for me. Let them be as the dust before the wind and the angel of the Lord scattering them. And let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For they have privily laid their neck to destroy me without a cause. Yea, even without a cause they have made a pit for my soul. Let a sudden destruction come upon him unawares, and his net that he hath laid privily catch himself, that he may fall into his own mischief. And my soul be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee? Who delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor, and him that is in misery, from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good, to the great discomfort of my soul. Nevertheless, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer shall turn into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though it had been my friend or my brother. I went heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the very abject came together against me unawares, making mouths at me, and ceased not. The flatterers were busy mockers, who gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look upon this? O oh, deliver my soul from the calamities which they bring on me, and my darling from the lions. 
so will I give thee thanks. In the great congregation I will praise thee among much people. O oh, let not them that are mine enemies triumph over me ungodly. Neither let them wink with their eyes that hate me without a cause. And why? Their communing is not for peace, but they imagine deceitful words against them that are quiet in the land. They gaped upon me with their mouths and said, Fie on thee, fie on thee, we saw it with our eyes. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Hold not thy tongue then, go not far from me, O Lord. Awake and stand up to my judge, my quarrel. Avenge thou my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not triumph over me. Let them not say in their hearts, there, there, so we would have it, neither let them say, we have devoured him. Let them be put to confusion and shame together that rejoice at my trouble. Let them be clothed with rebuke and dishonour that boast themselves against me. Let them be glad and rejoice that favour my righteous dealing. Yea, let them say always, Blessed be the Lord, who hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And as for my tongue, it shall be talking of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading set for today comes from Baruch chapter 1, verse 15, to chapter 2, verse 10, or Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 1 to 8. But I'm going to continue now with the Tadeum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all of the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The noble, goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all of the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading that is set for today is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. 
For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire labourers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the labourers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the labourers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hire, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These last have wrought but an hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather, Abraham, that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, who in the birth of thy Son hast poured upon us the new light of thine incarnate word, and revealed to us the fullness of thy love. Help us so to walk in his light, and dwell in his love, that we may know the fullness of his joy, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, as we come to you, we know that you hear us as we pray. At the beginning of this new year, we bring to you our world. The countries far away that are struggling, have troubles. We think of Syria, Afghanistan, Lebanon, Yemen. We think of India, South Africa, We pray that in those countries you will encourage the leaders and inspire the people 
to work for peace. And Father, we continue to pray about the problems different countries have experienced with the coronavirus and the Omicron variant. We pray for those countries that have not had the same access to vaccines. We pray that the vaccines may be shared shared fairly amongst all countries of the world. Help us all to understand that it is not until everyone is protected that we are protected. And Father, we pray for those countries where there is a sharp rise in cases We pray for hospitals that are struggling to cope with the numbers. We pray for the medical staff, the doctors, the nurses who are really under pressure, coping with extra numbers but being decimated themselves. Father, we pray for an end to the spread of this virus and all its variants. We remember all of those people who are sick and we pray for their healing. We pray for those who care for them. We pray for all of those families who have been bereaved recently, thinking especially of Chris's father. And Annette's grandson and his wife. as they grieve their loss. And further, as the schools open up, we pray for all of the young people that they may be kept safe from this virus. And that this coming term will be a productive one for them. We pray for their teachers, head teachers, caretakers, all of those who work in the schools. And we ask that you would keep them all safe. We bring to you this morning some prayers from our Link Chapel. We pray for Grandad Ron. And we pray also for Nanny Iris, asking that you would take away her pain and look after her. And we also pray for Nutty Nana and Grandpops. Father, finally, we pray for our own families and our friends. We ask that you would keep them safe in 
the coming days and weeks. And we bring to you ourselves. And we ask that you would continue to guide us and lead us and walk with us through this new year. Encouraging us to see all those around us. Encouraging us to see what you would have us do and where you would have us be, who you would have us speak to. Father, we thank you for your care for each of us. And we bring our prayers to you this morning through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, I wish you a very happy and healthy New Year. Have a lovely day, have a lovely week, and I will look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless. Goodbye.